and welcome back to my channel, Happy Artist. This is another one of my tutorials on a beginner's technique. This is the string pull. Now when you watch the pros and the experts do it, they don't always explain all the hidden secrets and tips of how they get it to look so beautiful. And it's quite a satisfying technique to watch. But then as a beginner you try it out and there are a few things that you've done wrong and you don't know what they are and it does not look at all like what you've seen on YouTube. So for this video, I'm going to show you some of those hints and tips to make sure that you can get this technique correct. The rest of my beginner tutorials is in the playlist above or in the description below. For those of you who are interested, I have also started a Facebook group called Happy Artist Tash. The link is in the description and it's a really good platform for you to not only share your art, share your YouTube videos with the rest of the members, but also ask questions and get a lot of extra input as well. We're all here to help and learn from each other. So first and foremost, the most important part of this technique is the consistency. If your paint is going to be mixed in a thick consistency, it's not going to give the exact same result that you're looking for. Your string isn't going to have the feathered look, no matter how you pull the string. It's probably going to get stuck on the paint and the paint is just going to stick on the canvas. It's going to be very, very frustrating. If you want to know what consistencies you should be using for each technique, there's a link at the top for you. Your base paint needs to be down, also needs to be a very, very thin consistency. And I have seen quite a few artists explain that if you put the paint on the string like what you have seen before on the side where you prep the paint on the string and then lay the string down on the canvas it tends to become quite muddy because you're pulling the paint on the string through your base paint and that actually mixes it quite a bit so I rather did it this way around right in the beginning and it seems to work better where you actually put the paint on the canvas and then you use your string to pull that paint through the base paint as you'll see, the paints didn't mud into each other at all. Quite a successful tip. I have tried doing a string pull versus using wool versus using a chain as well. Very, very different reactions there. Quite interesting. If you're aiming for a feather like I am in this case, you literally just pull each of the strings away from each other and in whatever form you want. If you pull the string far away, you're going to get a very, very thick feather at the bottom. If you pull it quite close to itself, then you're going to get a very thin feather. This can be done in a spiral, it can be done in straight lines, it's almost like you're swiping with rope. So for the first time used my Gecko Art pre-mixed acrylic paint. Very, very exciting. Meaning you don't need any medium to do most of the techniques. I specifically use these colors because they were of a very good consistency that I didn't need to thin them down. If they were slightly thicker, I still would have used some medium, whether it's my homemade medium or a store-bought medium, just to thin it down slightly if you do have a pouring acrylic paint that is quite thick. I hope you enjoyed the video and watch out for my next one. I'm going to be explaining the chameleon cells where you add silicone on after. Hope you have an amazing day. Ciao for now.
This another this one of my beginners techniques tutorial. No, it's not. That is the worst English ever. <laughs> <laughs> 